Japan's latest addition to its submarine fleet has genuinely sent shockwaves across the globe. Now Japan has a long history of continually improving its naval prowess and ammunition technology. However, the remarkable speed at which Japan has progressed in the development of this remarkable vessel is truly astonishing. So you might be wondering, what sets this new Japanese submarine apart from its counterparts worldwide? How does it stack up against the submarines from the US and other major maritime nations? We'll delve into all of that and more. Most importantly, we will delve into the incredible journey of how Japan managed to craft this extraordinary submarine in the shortest period of time. Join us as we explore the truth about Japan's new generation submarine that stuns the US. In August 1945, amid the worldwide celebration of the end of the Second World War, a mysterious discovery unfolded in the vast Pacific expanse. The US Navy intercepted a Japanese submarine, but it was unlike any other vessel they had encountered. What made it so baffling? It wasn't just the sheer scale of this submarine. It represented an entirely novel type of warfare. This aquatic beast concealed a remarkable secret, the ability to launch torpedo dive bombers. This encounter where Americans stumbled upon Japan's covert underwater aircraft carriers would become a discovery that would soon unravel a sinister plot with the potential to reshape the course of the war. We thought the Japanese had something going on then. However, it appears that their best was yet to come. Here is a proof to support that statement. On March 9th, 2022, the Japanese Navy welcomed a diesel-electric submarine of a novel design to their fleet. This vessel is the first of its kind in its series, and it represents a step forward for the country's submarine force. Although Japan does not possess nuclear-powered submarines, it boasts 22 multi-purpose non-nuclear submarines, the Oyashio and Soryu class. The lead ship of the Oyashio class, the SS-590, joined the fleet on March 16, 1998. While it might seem old, it's worth noting that when compared to some Russian and American submarines, like the USS Ohio that was commissioned in 1981, these Japanese submarines are relatively recent. In the eyes of experts, their submarines stand out as technologically advanced and formidable vessels known for their capabilities and effectiveness. However, the Japanese are not resting on their laurels. They aim to further enhance their underwater forces. Japan started pursuing superior submarines in the early 2000s when it became evident that the formidable SRI-class submarines needed replacement. While these submarines had served with distinction, the evolving global naval landscape demanded a fresh approach. In 2004, an exhaustive study of next-generation submarine technology laid the groundwork for the development of the Taigai-class submarine. This comprehensive analysis took into account various critical factors, spanning from sinking speed to stealth performance. Before introducing Project 29 SS Taigai, the Japanese conducted sea trials with two non-nuclear submarines of the Soryu type in 2015 and 2017. These vessels featured a modified propulsion system without the Stirling engine, utilizing lithium-ion batteries instead. The results affirmed the soundness of the modifications. While the Taigai shares external similarities with its predecessors, including its shape and layout, it boasts a larger displacement, measuring 84 meters in length and 9.1 meters in width. On the surface, its displacement is 3,000 tons, and when submerged, it exceeds 4,200 to 4,300 tons. The vessel has a streamlined hull, with a distinctive deckhouse and horizontal rudders at the top. It employs an X-shaped configuration for its stern planes and relies on a single propeller for propulsion. Interestingly, during the initial concept stages, water jet propulsion was considered for its quietness, but classical solutions ultimately prevailed. Additionally, new radio electronic systems for reconnaissance and communication were developed for Project 29 SS, enhancing the submarine's capabilities in these critical areas. A pivotal role in this development was played by naval engineers who leveraged state-of-the-art simulation technology to craft an optimal submarine design. This design served as the foundational blueprint for the subsequent success of these submarines. As a result, numerous research initiatives were launched in the ensuing years, each focused on enhancing submarine capabilities in diverse ways. 
Staying at the forefront of technological advancement was of paramount importance to Japan. Consequently, the country made significant strides in the development of advanced sonar systems and air-independent propulsion technologies. This unwavering commitment to cutting-edge innovations was further reinforced by the construction of structures geared toward enhancing detection and strike resistance. The structural elements ensured the submarine's survivability and effectiveness against new threats and assaults. One of the key strategic objectives for Japan was the creation of submarines that were not only maneuverable, but inconspicuous and adaptable. The development process also delved into structural issues, exploring the quest for optimal hull design and novel solutions like floating floors. This holistic approach struck a delicate balance between form, function, and cost, laying the groundwork for the Taigai class's success. Another remarkable advancement in naval technology emerged with the introduction of a cutting-edge hydroacoustic station that relies on fiber-optic arrays. This innovation holds the potential to significantly enhance the detection and tracking of underwater targets. Moreover, a new combat information and control system, built upon existing developments and components, has been devised to further minimize noise. In addition to phasing out the Stirling engine, a new sound-absorbing coating and materials have been employed to greatly reduce the submarine's visibility. However, submarines, no matter how technologically advanced, are only as good as the weapons they carry. The Taigai-class submarine, representing the pinnacle of Japanese naval innovation, is armed to the teeth. The submarine serves a multitude of missions, ranging from strategic deterrence to covert intelligence gathering making it exceptionally versatile. It boasts four bow torpedo tubes with a caliber of 533 millimeters. These tubes can deploy a range of torpedoes, including the latest models, and are also equipped to launch American Harpoon anti-ship cruise missiles, which can reach a remarkable range of 140 miles. Notably, there's a torpedo countermeasure system in place, designed to release decoys to thwart enemy attacks. The Taigai submarine's crew comprises 70 individuals who can expect comfortable living conditions aboard the vessel. High levels of automation are incorporated to alleviate the crew's workload. It's particularly worth highlighting that the needs of female submariners have been thoughtfully considered during the submarine's construction, which is of significant importance considering that the Submarine Force Academy welcomed female cadets for the first time this year. The hurdles of recruitment pushed the JMSDF to explore unconventional avenues, including the induction of female personnel into the submarine service. This marks a commendable and significant shift from past norms, reflecting the pressing need for manpower. The newly commissioned submarine is equipped with a separate compartment to accommodate up to six female submariners, underlining the commitment to overcoming these challenges. To further affirm how much work went into Project 29 SS, which gave birth to the Taigai, it's important to remember that the project fully kicked off in March 2018 with the laying down of the first vessel. Subsequently, on October 14, 2020, it was launched into the water, and it was formally commissioned into service on March 9, 2022. The construction of this new generation Japanese submarine, from inception to service, was accomplished in just four years, an impressive feat when compared to other international projects. For instance, the French-built Scorpene submarine, intended for India, took more than eight years from the laying of its keel in December 2012 to its delivery in February 2021. Importantly, the Scorpene is notably smaller, with a displacement of 2,000 tons, compared to the Taigay's four 200-ton displacement. Nevertheless, the Taigay's construction comes at a relatively high cost, amounting to approximately $710 million. In comparison, the Soryu-class submarines cost less, with the standard diesel-electric model priced at $608 million. This increased expense is partially attributed to the installation of expensive lithium-ion batteries and the integration of new electronic systems. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, responsible for this project, laid down the second submarine, Hakugai, in January 2019 and launched it in October 2021, with delivery to the Navy expected in 2023. The third submarine, Jingei, was laid down in April 2020 and launched in October 2022, set to be delivered to the Japanese Navy in March 2024. 
Notably, this construction schedule suggests a deliberate pace in equipping Japan with new submarines. It is also important to view Japan's commitment to these new submarines in the context of a broader international landscape characterized by the development of next-generation weaponry anticipated for deployment between 2030 to 2035. This trend is evident in various areas, such as the introduction of Ford-class aircraft carriers in the United States and the evolution of sixth-generation fighter programs. Japan's approach, particularly the decision to abandon air-independent power plant technology, could potentially set a precedent influencing submarine shipbuilding worldwide. In a fascinating cultural note, the name given to the submarine series holds significance. The term Taigai translates to big whale in Japanese. In fact, the entire series of submarines, which will eventually consist of seven vessels, is named in honor of large fish. The second vessel in the series is Hakuge, the white whale, while the third is Jinge, the fast whale. The project itself, 29SS, has a specific meaning. 29 inches is derived from the year of Emperor Akihito's reign when the decision to build these submarines was made, which is 2017, and SS is the international abbreviation for non-nuclear multi-purpose submarines. The attention to detail adds a unique layer of cultural significance to the project. Just recently, Japan's Ministry of Defense took delivery of the Hakugai. The cutting-edge lithium-ion batteries indeed grant these vessels extended underwater operational capacities. They charge their battery systems while cruising on diesel engines, and then seamlessly transition to battery power when submerged and in operational mode. When the batteries take over, the submarine becomes virtually silent, a stark contrast to nuclear-powered counterparts that can't shut down their reactors. You may be surprised to learn that these submarines are not limited to undersea warfare. They are equipped to deploy anti-ship cruise missiles, effectively extending their offensive capabilities over long distances, just like their predecessors. The launch of American Harpoon anti-ship cruise missiles, boasting an impressive range of approximately 140 miles, is within their purview. The Taigi-class submarines, renowned for their stealth capabilities, are also adept at conducting covert surveillance and reconnaissance missions without drawing unwanted attention. They can silently gather crucial information regarding underwater terrains and enemy activities while remaining undetected. This invaluable information gathering capacity makes them an indispensable asset for special operations forces. Given Japan's unique geographical positioning, surrounded by seas and potential adversaries, these submarines stand as a bulwark against any provocations or attacks. They are poised to participate in diverse maritime military operations, utilizing their high technology and strategic positioning. These submarines prove invaluable in scenarios of submarine warfare, where they can engage enemy surface vessels and subdue them, safeguarding Japan's maritime interests, securing vital sea lanes, and deterring potential threats from approaching the coast. Special operations teams also benefit significantly from the submarines as they provide covert transportation and landing capabilities. With these vessels, special forces agents can reach coastal areas discreetly and embark on missions like intelligence gathering, sabotage, and reconnaissance. While these submarines aren't equipped to carry nuclear weapons, having a well-armed fleet of them acts as a potent deterrent against potential attacks. It serves as a powerful reminder of Japan's naval prowess, capable of launching assaults on critical enemy naval installations while safeguarding its exclusive economic zones. Furthermore, these new submarines with their technological advancements underscore Japan's commitment to remaining at the forefront of naval innovation. In an increasingly complex maritime environment marked by rising threats and challenges, Japan ensures the safety and efficacy of its naval forces by introducing modern features and solutions. Yet Japan doesn't operate in isolation on the global stage. The major naval powers, including the United States, Russia, and China, are vying for maritime dominance through the development of advanced submarine technology. Each of these nations is characterized by rapid technological breakthroughs and strategic competition. The United States, with its Virginia-class submarines, remains a front-runner in submarine technology. These nuclear-powered submarines are versatile, 
and equipped to carry a range of weapons, from torpedoes to cruise missiles and underwater vehicles. With superior sonar systems and stealth capabilities, they excel in anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare. The nuclear propulsion system enables the U.S. Navy to operate worldwide with enduring endurance, making them valuable assets for covert intelligence gathering and special operations. Russia, on the other hand, has a formidable submarine force, featuring submarines like the Bori and Yasin classes. The Bori-class submarines, armed with Bolava ICBMs, possess a wide array of missiles and torpedoes, while the Yasin-class submarines serve as multi-purpose vehicles capable of carrying a range of armaments. Russia's submarine technology emphasizes nuclear deterrence and precision attack capabilities, bolstering its status as a formidable maritime power. The territorial dispute between Russia and Japan over the Kuril Islands underscores the importance of Japan's vigilance against potential Russian threats. In a similar vein, China is rapidly advancing its naval capabilities, seeking to compete with established naval powers. As part of its larger strategy, China is focusing on modernizing its submarine fleet and enhancing its naval presence. In an ever-evolving maritime landscape, the world's major powers are continually pushing the boundaries of naval technology and strategy, setting the stage for future competition and cooperation. Japan's commitment to naval innovation and expansion plays a vital role in this complex and dynamic global scenario. China's strategic capabilities come into sharp focus with the Type 096 submarines, complementing the formidable Type 095 and bolstering their nuclear force. These submarines are armed with submarine-launched ballistic missiles, enhancing China's second-strike nuclear capability. The addition of submarines to its growing nuclear triad underscores China's unwavering determination to maintain a credible deterrent. Notably, there are reports that China, too, is eyeing the incorporation of lithium-ion batteries into its submarine fleet. This reflects a broader trend in the region, where nations are striving to match and surpass each other in naval technology and capabilities, setting the stage for continued maritime competition and cooperation. The country's relentless pursuit of naval innovations goes hand in hand with its commitment to stealth and scientific advancements. Their resolve to reduce the acoustic signatures of its submarines is evident in their use of state-of-the-art materials, innovative hull designs, and propeller technologies. The significance of detection evasion in modern maritime operations is well understood, particularly with the development of state-of-the-art sonar equipment. When it comes to comparing Japanese submarines, like the Taigai class, with those of other submarine powers such as the United States, Russia, or China, nuance is crucial. It's important to consider the varying strategic goals, technological priorities, and global reach that influence the design and capabilities of submarines. The Taigai submarine class reflects Japan's commitment to maritime security and innovation, highlighting its adaptability in anti-submarine warfare and covert reconnaissance. Equipped with advanced torpedoes and cruise missiles, these vessels showcase Japan's emphasis on cutting-edge sonar systems, stealth technology, and modern weaponry. In contrast, American submarines of the Virginia class boast global reach, large weapons arsenals, and superior reconnaissance capabilities. Russian submarines, like the Bori class, prioritize strategic deterrence through intercontinental ballistic missiles or ICBMs, while Chinese submarines, typified by the Type 095, combine stealth, long-range capabilities, and dominance in the Indo-Pacific. Various factors influence the ranking of submarines as the best or worst. While Japan's submarines may lack the global reach of American counterparts or the strategic might of Russian vessels, their strength lies in maneuverability, technical sophistication, and a steadfast commitment to maritime security. These attributes position Japan as a formidable regional power in the complex web of maritime influence and power dynamics. Also, the stealth technology, coupled with Japan's heritage of underwater noise analysis, grants the nation a crucial advantage over Chinese submarines. In the realm of potential regional conflicts, U.S. analysts have suggested Japan's submarines could play a pivotal role in defending strategic choke points, especially in scenarios involving Taiwan. 
these submarines could lie in wait, ambushing Chinese vessels attempting to break into the Pacific Ocean through the East China Sea and Sea of Japan. By restricting the maneuverability of Chinese naval assets, Japan could significantly bolster U.S. military efforts in the region during contingencies. In times past, Japan's submarine fleet could afford to be relatively smaller in size because of the immense superior quality of its vessels, which outperformed older Chinese submarines, including the Soviet vintage Ming class. However, as China's navy advanced in its submarine capabilities, introducing innovations like air-independent propulsion systems for underwater oxygen generation to fuel diesel engines, Japan had to adapt and strengthen its maritime defenses. Tom Shugart, a former U.S. submariner and an adjunct senior fellow at the Center for a New American Security Think Tank, had even shed light on the strategic importance of an additional burst of speed in submarines. He emphasizes that such speed can play a pivotal role in evading incoming anti-submarine warfare torpedoes. As he put it, the ability to swiftly accelerate to high speeds becomes crucial when the objective is to move rapidly out of a vulnerable position where torpedoes could lock on and begin homing. Alternatively, it can be employed to outpace the torpedoes, causing them to deplete their fuel before reaching the submarine, thus ensuring safety. In the United States, experts also put forth a compelling proposal to extend the operational life of Japanese submarines from the current 22 years to a more sustainable 30 years. This strategic move would enable Japan to expand its submarine fleet to 30 vessels without the need for fresh additions. We are yet to confirm if Japan would take the U.S. up on that. Japan's submarine construction takes place alternately at two key sites, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Kawasaki. The latest addition to the Taige class, the Jingei, which shocked the U.S. and the rest of the world, embarked on its journey in October with a scheduled delivery date in early 2024. This Taigai class fleet is poised to replace the nine remaining Oyashio class submarines over the next decade, marking a substantial upgrade in Japan's naval capabilities. The nation is committed to maintaining its edge in maritime security and innovation, even amid demographic constraints, underlining the nation's unwavering dedication to upholding its maritime interests. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, Click on the link appearing on your screen for another of our interesting videos. See you there.